Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, man. Welcome back to another video, man. Listen, if you're new around here, if it's your first time clicking on the video, seeing my face, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, stay a while, gang. I promise you, you in for a goodie, man. But listen, to everybody else, my squad, I appreciate y'all for turning in again to another video, bro. Make sure you like the video as well, man. We're going to get right to it. Today, we is talking about a wild character, though, bro. We talking about a rapper named Honeycomb Brazy, bro. By the name, you could tell he obviously, you know what I'm saying, he on the red side, you feel me? So Honeycomb Brazy, he used to be related to Mob Ties. He had, I guess, a situation with Mob Ties, but he went to jail for a little minute. The other fact that I know about Honeycomb Brazy, bro, is that his grandma and his grandpops both got bodied by his ops, bro. I think in a house shooting or fire or something like Yeah, bro, they popped the house up, lit it on fire, something like that, bro. I'm pretty sure we're going to get more detail with this story, though. Like I said, man, smash the subscribe, like the video. Nobody wins when the family feels. Private jet. <laughs> hey, what the f about private jet? <laughs> he said, Where my private jet at? He just came home from jail. Clearly, he feeling good. My son was in jail with his whole mouth iced out. That's like YNW Melly right now. Iced out mouth. But I heard YNW Melly needs surgery. Like, it be, he need to get his joints taken out. Ain't no way a rat got out and got a private jet and brains ain't got no private jet. What the fuck? They ain't real for nothing. He talking about 6 9 He said, ain't no way 6 9 the rat came home to a private jet and I come home and all I get is a, a, a Ford. Niggas pick me up in a Ford? Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Pick me up at least in a black Escalator something with the tinted out. Make me feel presidential on the way home. I just kept it solid. He got 15 years. I'm trying to tell the phone. Don't they lie, though? Can't lie. Oh, could really pop out like raccoon. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, real on that. Man, don't do me like that. Yeah. yeah. Gucci. Gucci. Wow. Well, he trying to be the new Gucci man. He said, yeah, what? Gucci? Like, how you going to steal my nigga Gucci whole flow? Like, what? I, I'm i pretty sure Gucci know who this is, though, because there's no way you doing that on a track and Gucci ain't like, hold up, nigga. You better be related to me. You better sign to me, nigga. No rent. I'm chasing the check. I sleep when all day in my... Starts right now with breaking news. Hi, everyone. I'm Peter Albrecht. And I'm Devin Walsh. We begin with breaking news tonight. Mobile police say they've made several arrests in connection to the couple found dead after a house fire in Happy Hills last year. Couple found deceased after the house fire in the ba 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 Like, bruh, it's crazy out here, bruh. Let me go grab a soda, though. That shot just, like, paused. Got my mouth wet. Gang, I'm back with a Sprites. A crime alert tonight. Terrifying moments for people on Clark Street in Mobile as they wake up to gunfire in the middle of the night. Yeah, that's right. You may recall that homicide detectives are currently investigating the deaths of his grandparents that happened back in February. Now the rapper's <laughs> mother believes that she was the target of last night's shooting. They shot it up again. I can see you. I kind of hear yesterday. And those weren't there yesterday. Not this none of it. She said again. Bro, did y'all hear that? She said, they shot it up again. I was here last night. That wasn't there. Bro, this is the second time. Or third or fourth. But again, again means this ain't the first. But this time they took out your grandparents, bro. What type of beef do you have? Like, what did you do to them niggas? Like, what did you do? You must have ran down and fa fa fa, fa fa fa, fa 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 fa. 
on all they homies. You must have you must have wet up the trap house and now they can't get money or something, bro, because they took it serious. A family three doors down woke when two bullets came into their home overnight. They declined to talk on camera. Jones says this isn't the first. See this, bro? They come through, wet the crib up. They hitting up random people cribs by accident. They ain't mean to pop up the neighbors. No, they came for one crib, but guess what? Bullets don't got names. They just get to flying. You know what I'm saying? I'm her home's been shot. And how many times do you think your home has been shot at? For sure, I know it's three, but now I know it's four times. Bro, four times, bro. So three times before the time that grandma and pa Ma Mama, Mima, and Papa? Mima and Papa. The fourth time niggas done swept the block, they took Mima and Papa out. Like, how you feel now as they grandson? Knowing this is your beef, this is your static, your energy. That came back and got the family clip. Like, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. You that's all you it's not, you gotta feel crazy, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. You supposed to slide till there ain't no more sliding, bro. You gotta slide till everybody go. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You gotta slide, nigga. Put them skates on, nigga. Get the sliding, bro. Why do they keep targeting you? I don't. Because they want my son, not Shannon Jones, dead. Her son is Because they want my son, not Jones, dead. Bro, straight up. They asked his moms, why they do this? Why they, you know why they took your parents out? Why they kill your parents? Because they want my son gone. They want his life over. On Jones, a local rapper is also known as Honeycomb Brazy. In this thing called life, sometimes people could find themselves making choices that lead them down a treacherous path. Such was the case for a talented Alabama rapper whose life took a turn for the worse. Yet, against all odds, he managed to reclaim his future, transform his hardships, into a story of redemption and triumph. This is the story of Honeycomb Brazy. Money or jury from DPD. Mm -hmm. They say he got clearly, bro. He was having it, bro. His life was decent, bro. You saw his video, you see the Rolls Royces in the back, everything pulling up. Like, he looked like he was a getting money, nigga, bro. Like, why are you out here? I don't know, bro. You know what? Let's watch the video because I'm not gonna make it his fault. Hey, I'm never, I'm definitely not putting his grandma's and, and granddad situation on him. I'm not. I'm just saying, bro, it's all a part of the energy that led back, though. You feel me? And I guess they've been following him. So somebody weed him is a snitch. Now that was Honeycomb Brazy getting arrested just three years ago after allegedly violating parole. But in order for us to go over his story and see how he got to this point towards his redemption, we got to go back five years ago. So before we go over this one, remember family. So he just, he fresh home, bro. He just came home from a nickel. Son just did a nickel. And he came home already getting back into the action. I seen him on Instagram Live going, wow. Like, I just literally seen this. That's what made me, when I seen this video, I'm like, I got to react to this because I see he home or whatever. I will give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Facts, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. I need that, squad. I ain't going to lie. I'm trying to grow. My views been shaky lately, bro. I'm trying to get back into that algorithm. So if you rock it with a young nigga, you know what I'm saying? You like what I'm doing over here. You like the energy, like the consistency. Please, tap into the video. Like the video. Subscribe. Turn post notifications on right now. Appreciate you. We'll jump right to it. Let's try to step into the mind of Honeycomb Brazy. A man that's been shot over eight times. Been in shootouts that's broadcast on social media, a part of his interviews, losing his grandmother and grandfather while incarcerated to people he allegedly know. Starts right now with breaking news. Hi everyone, I'm Peter Albrecht. And I'm Devin Walsh. We begin with breaking news tonight. Mobile police say they've made several arrests in connection to the couple found dead after a house fire in Happy Hills last year. WKRG News 5's Nicolet Schleisman pushing for answers today. Nicolette, this comes one year and one day after the crime took place. Yeah, that's right. And three people are now in custody, each charged with two counts of murder and multiple counts of shooting into an occupied home. Oh, so they definitely did get the get the people that got that took grandma and papa out, man. They I ain't gonna lie. If you take out somebody grandma and grandpa, bro, 
I'm not saying free you. I'm not wishing for you to be free. The only way I'm wishing for you to be free is so that the nigga who you took his grandparents out, he could come back and get his revenge. I ain't even gonna lie, because that's crazy, bro. All I heard was a boom. It sounded like a bunch of shots. Almost exactly a year after Tony and Leela Lewis were found dead in their home after this. Bro, this is his grandma and grandpa, bro. These look like loving people, bro. Good people, bro. These look like they could be anybody family members, bro. Beautiful couple. They probably been together 30 years. And then some random hoodlums that got beef with their grandson come and pop up their crib, set the crib on fire. Like, come on, bro. They ain't deserve that, dog. I'm telling you, they ain't deserve that. Fire. Mobile police say they're thankful to bring their family some sort of closure. It's just a beginning, but uh, it's a good beginning. Police have charged person of interest Darren Southall, Terrence Watkins, and Jamarcus Chambers, all with murder. I think we've just done the easiest part. Even though it took us a year to get here, we've just done the Damn, easiest. it took a year for them to get the people that took out Mima and Papa? A year, bro? The family had to go a year? Knowing that the niggas who came and did this was really coming to get their grandson. So, my... Like, remember, his mom's is out here. Her grand, her mother and father gone. Her son in jail. Oh, she ain't got no answers for a year. But I'm glad they got him. But a year is crazy, though. We put handcuffs. We're going to be putting handcuffs on them and finally getting them before the courts to answer for, for the crimes that were committed. A fire broke out at the Lewis's home on Dr. Thomas Avenue the evening of February 17th, 2021. Police confirmed Tony Lewis was shot multiple times. Family confirms the couple's grandson is local rapper Honeycomb Brazy, whose real name is Nashawn Jones. He posted to Instagram he was sorry his grandparents got, quote, caught up in his mess. Police aren't releasing details as... Yeah, bro. Come on, imagine that, man. You don't even want to imagine that, honestly, because you don't... But, bro, your grandparents gone due to your beef, bro. He said, I'm sorry my grandparents got caught up in my mess, bro. For real, you got to say that. That's all you can say. And you got to slide. What happened? Instead, waiting for that to play out in court. We spent some time talking with the family and let them know that the day has come <laughs> and so um, the, the idea that their patience and their perseverance has paid off when south hall was named a person of interest back in may police confirmed they were looking into a connection between south hall and the rapper and were trying to confirm a previous beef between the two people shooting at where your mother once lived looking for her while you incarcerated <laughs> A crime alert tonight, terrifying moments for people on Clark Street in Mobile as they wake up to gunfire in the middle of the night. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey obtained the surveillance footage there that captured the sound of those shots. Andrea, you've learned this shooting may be connected to Mobile rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Yeah, that's right. You may recall that homicide detectives are currently investigating the deaths of his grandparents that happened back in February. Now the rapper's mother believes that she was the target of last night's shooting. In this surveillance footage NBC 15 News obtained, you hear five shots fired on Clark Street at 2 in the morning. They came back. They keep shooting up your home. Mm-hmm, and I don't even live here because I had... They came back. They keep on popping up her home, bro. She know that. She knows that random niggas she don't know, random little young hood thug, thugging and bugging dudes is out here looking for her because of her son. They want to pop her because they can't get her son, bro. I ain't even going to lie, bro. I don't know how she just even in the city ran regularly like this. Like, she should just get out the city, bro, because I would hate for her to get caught up and be another victim. And she ain't got nothing to do with this, bro. She just family. She's related to the nigga that they want dead. Be because of their but them French be Tanisha Jones believes her home was the target. She wasn't home when the shots were fired, but had been at the home yesterday and believes people saw her there. They shot it up again. I can tell you. I came here yesterday. And those weren't there yesterday. Not this glass, none of that. A family three So basically they saw her in the area. They peeped his mom's was around and like, oh, she at the crib. Go spin back now. It's the time to hit it. Bro, I don't know what do niggas be like. How bad was the beef, bro? How bad was it that you had to go take out the, the grandparents, try to take out his mama? Like, what did he do to you? Like, did he buck your, your kid? Did he buck your, 
your your mother, your sister. What did he do, bro? Did he? What did he do? Like, what did he do, bro? Like the, bro, the way they spinning on him, bro, is nothing regular, dog. You ain't seen nothing like this before. Down woke when two bullets came into their home overnight. They declined to talk on camera. Jones says this isn't the first time her home's been shot. And how many times do you think your home has been shot at? For sure, I know it's three, but now I know it's four times. Why do they keep targeting you? I don't. Because they want my son, not Sean Jones, dead. Her son, Nashawn Jones, a local rapper, is also known as Honeycomb Brazy. He's currently in Metro Jail, accused of violating his probation. He was arrested back in 2016 on gun charges. In February, Nashawn's grandparents, Tanisha's parents, were killed in a mysterious shooting and fire. Mobile police can't confirm the overnight shooting is in any way connected to any other investigation. <laughs> Tanisha's heart may be broken and her home riddled with bullets. She's living now only on the hope the shooting stop before she loses another loved one. I'm kind of like all loses her own life. She said she feel like they came there for her. Like her, she right now while she coming with the news and showing them this house, you know she got fear in her heart, bro. You this house been popped up four times. Your parents are gone in this house from the same beef that you know been chasing you like you know your, your son got ops, and they've been popping the crib up. Now you, your parents is going, bro. This is crazy. I ain't going to lie. The fact that she even here showing the news, this whole crib, and showing them the gunshots is crazy. I ain't going to lie. She's definitely a solid, strong black woman, bro, because I don't even know how she in the city. I'd have been gone. I'd, I'd have told my mom's moms, get up out of here. Get up out of here. It's too dangerous. Right now, it's too dangerous. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to take care of what got to be done. But moms, you got to get up out of here. Icky, I'm kind of like nervous. I'm kind of like upset. And I lost everything. Your little brother loses his life to cancer. And the best memories you have with your dad is you spending time with him while incarcerated. Five years ago in 2000. Wow, nigga, Honeycomb Brazy was locked up with his pops. The most memory, the, he said the latest memories he had with his pops was being locked up with him. I ain't gonna lie, bro. As black people, bro, we gotta do better. As black people, we gotta do better, bro. You don't see these YT people going through this. You don't see them having these type of situations. I mean, they got their own struggles. See, they be popping up schools and all that. You know what I'm saying? They got their own struggles, but we got to do better as black people, bro. In 18, Honeycomb Brazy made himself a household name. He released a song on YouTube called Freestyle. Over 80 million views and counting. She said she know yo. I'm trying to fold her all like us, but get it scrying. Remember the whole day. But Honeycomb Brazy was arrested on 8-13-2018 and put his music career that just started on the shelf. He was charged with firearms, persons, forbidden, slash possession. He ended up doing about three years and having 15 years on probation. Coming home and dropping an iconic track called The Gucci Flow, which managed to get over 8 million views and counting. What a bad mode, they send it, he said my head. Be the rat in the city, got some bricks on my head. Even signed the Mob Ties Records, dropping a track that had Jay Prince Sr. in the video with the J. Right, having Jay Prince Sr. in your video just says something. That's like just, you just trying to say like, listen, I'm stamped now. I'm with Mob Ties, nigga. First interlude, the track was titled Dead People with 17 million views and counting. Go with print, he gon' roll like a rush. She gave me hair, I keep my leg on like a horse. Free Things was looking up for Honeycomb Brazy. But a street light was catching up with him. In 2020, Honeycomb Brazy was seen on camera getting arrested again, allegedly violating his parole, which we'll later talk about in a video, which was key how he was let out after a 